What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to what is probably the saddest video I will ever be shooting. Um, you saw the title, it's not clickbait. It is unfortunately time to sell a Supra. All right, so if you've been on this channel for a while, obviously you know I got this guy right here, which is a hard top, super low miles, super clean, and then I got this guy up here, which has been with me for 12 years, 13 years, something like that. Uh, it's been a hot minute. Um, I wanna go a slightly different direction with things, and I've been thinking about it a lot, and especially with the new garage space limitation, it's really, it's just time to cut one of them loose, so. Um, I will be selling the hard top car today, Originally when I bought this thing, I wanted it to be kind of like a father-son project down the road. And it's something that I've had for four years. I haven't put any miles on it. Like I've done some basic stuff that needed to be fixed. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty much just sat in the garage. And I think part of that is just because I haven't gotten to the point with the one above it that I'm actually done and ready to go and execute on the next thing. And this, unfortunately, it's kind of funny. So when I listed this, I listed it back before all this government induced house arrest stuff went on and i found this other car i'm really pumped about it and i want to go and get this and in order to go and get this i need to go and offload a supra okay great and then i was texting back and forth with this guy uh he's he, he's flying in he actually just flew into uh denver he should be here in about an hour or so and then he goes and texts me his flight itinerary and at that point it really kind of got real and i started to get a little bit of seller's remorse you know but i don't know um talking back and forth with him it sounds like his dad is yeah, he's been in Supras and stuff for a while, so he's familiar with the platform and everything. And then the guy that's buying the car, this is gonna be his like first one. But he and his dad are gonna do is like a father-son project, which I think is really, really cool. Um, if he'll let me, I'll go ahead and link his Instagram in the description below. I think it'll be cool to have somebody else execute on what I had originally planned for the car and seeing it come to fruition sooner rather than later and kind of down the road. I'm excited, I'm pumped. Hopefully he gets here and he likes it and everything's good and meets the spec and he and his dad go and drive off the car. Everything will be great. After that, Spencer, if you're watching this video, obviously you already know what I'm looking at. I will tell you guys eventually, but not today, eventually for sure. Uh, what car I'm gonna be buying next. I'm really pumped. I think you guys are gonna like it a lot, uh, especially if you like the super related content and you're not just here for the race stuff. If you are just here for the race stuff, then that'll be happening here in a few weeks. So come back, stay tuned for that. The car's already fueled, it's got a fresh oil change. I cleaned it up last night, and of course there's a layer of dust on it this morning because it's Colorado. I guess we're just gonna hang out here for another 20, 30 minutes until he gets here. Stay tuned, guys. Hi. What's up, man? You Dan? I'm Dan, nice to meet you. Hey, yeah, you too. I'm Nick. You mind if I record this at all? No, not you at care? all. Cool. No, not at all. So this is your first cool. one? Uh, I've had a Mark III for hey. about seven years. Hey, how you doing? Been through a Turbo 7M and okay. just completed the 1J VVTI swap. Okay. Rebuilt R154. Nice. And he tells me you've been big into Supras and stuff for a minute then. Yeah. Yeah, I have like tacos and all different kinds of Toyotas. Okay. Tacomas, trucks and stuff. Yeah. Okay. You 2J swap a Tacoma yet? No. There's some fast yet. ones out there, man. This is like guys, no, but eight I've seen seconds. a 7M sick. swap Tacoma once. That'd be cool. Yeah, it was the, nice <laughs> year. It was the same year as I had. Right. Anyway. <laughs> cool, man. Well, hey, you want to go check out your car? Yes, sir. Cool. Let's see it. <laughs> there should be. No. Yeah, it was clean yesterday. Now it's got a layer of dust on it again. That's not good. Four posts is nice. It helps. Especially when you go from a four car to a two car, but. Yeah, okay. This is yours? Yeah. You never drove it much? Uh, I bought it with like 69,000 on it and put 1,500 on it in four years. So unfortunately, no. Right. It was gonna be a father-son project originally. And then it's like, well, I gotta go and keep this thing for like 20 years really before we can get started. And like, what's it gonna look like then? You know what I mean? Yeah, after just gonna so, move it around. Yeah. Yep. I, I mean, the fact that you guys can go and tackle this and you know, bring it to life faster is, you know, that's awesome. And then do you have all in the pictures of the listing, there was the paperwork? Yeah, the big, yeah, let me yeah. have it. Here's this. I got the title and stuff in here too. I still gotta sign it, but. No, I'm good. Uh, do you need a notary in this state? Uh, no. Perfect. I think you do in Ohio, though, don't you? Sure do. You? How's not, that gonna work? Not on the on the on the selling end. You need a notary, not on the buying end. Oh. 
So the couple of dings on it. I like that it's a hard top car. I really like that. Yeah. Um, Dude, this, this thing took me probably three or four years to find. I've been looking for... Because, like, you can find Targas all day, man. But, like, you're finding a hard top, it's impossible. So the dings on it, it's just these two on the door. So those two on the door. It's got the one on the hood. And the one on the hood. This yeah. one on the hood don't look too bad. I think, honestly, most of them will be pdr -able. These are a little more pointy, so... PDR. Maybe. Paintless but, gun repair. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. So what are your plans for this thing? Uh... The budget says keep your stock. I'm pro regardless of what I do with it, I'm never gonna cut a factory sheet metal. Right. I manual swapped my Lexus. I extended the shifter housing myself and it came out right at the factory hole. I can take mm -hmm. measurements. Yeah, I'm gonna do that again. I'm not gonna buy the six speed tunnel for it and put right. that in. Okay. Um, I'll probably just keep it stock, get uh, the dings taken care of, some paint correction on it for a year or two, and then maybe, maybe a turbo I have an R154 sitting on the shelf. Okay. So eventually swap it in. Yeah. Um, build up parts slowly. And I like it. I like it a lot. Probably. Yeah, maybe one day you want to, you know, put a turbo motor in it, but I'll probably keep the numbers matching engine and transmission, yeah. you know, under a tarp forever. Dude, I love to hear that, man. That makes me so happy. I have no uh, idea. Yeah, Just I'm keeping not, it all together and like 100% authentic. No, That's fantastic. Yeah, I'm not really one to cut up such a nice car. All right, so uh, we'd like to take it for a test drive. Yeah, and wanted. well, how do you want to do it? You can drive, you're more than welcome to drive, and I can put a check in your hand. Well, if you drive, you don't need that. I say, if you hand me the check, you guys want to take it for a spin, then, you know, that's fine. So we still got to come back for the title. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's real. Okay. You know where I live, it's not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah. yep, and then. I would come um, a long way. <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to want to hear the motor like up at like four or five grand. Is that okay if I leave it in first gear and just somewhere in here they won't? Yeah, yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, good enough. I'm going to say you drive that so they won't even know if this goes by. Not polite, you know. Yeah, yeah. paper tutor. I was like, what the hell is it laminated for? Well, I didn't want, you know, TSA, I don't want TSA to look at it or nothing. And then that's right. not even my bank account. So you want to put that up on YouTube? Go for it. Right. <laughs> Careful. How'd it go? Perfect. Nice. Got a little lost, that's all. <laughs> all good, man. I was, I was hoping it was going exceptionally well and you were just enjoying your first drive with it, you know? I was. <laughs> I was. Well, it runs good. Cool. It runs real good. Just like NA Lexus, just like SC300. Yeah. All right, I'll take it. Take cool. Deal. Good deal, man. Thank you. Thank for you. taking it off my hands and Thank make you sure you're a treater awesome. ride, dude. I appreciate yeah, that. That's cool. Being straightforward, honest fellows. Swapping out the old plates. It's been fun, old girl. Bitter we'll take good care of you, though. I'm confident. Bittersweet, huh? Yeah, a little bit. And then work. Right, yeah. Nice. So, let me drop this thing, though. I can yeah, show you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Do what? Yeah, fly, fly cut. Fly I, cut? The one I made, I chucked up on the mill and just kept it. I see. I didn't mill. Yeah, mill worked fine for you. Yeah, go for it. Wow. This has got pitch shocks on it, so oh, I thought. Very cool. Need to pin it up, but wow, that is that is quite a amount of work done. That's the fuel pump. Yep, that's fuel pump. Um, sleeper designs, RMR style intake manifold. Yep. Uh, it's got 12 injectors on it, so that's, <coughs> that's plenty of gasoline. And then it comes with the factory TPS. Uh, yeah. So nice I'm using the factory type. TPS. I'm not using the Ford one just because that one it's supposed to work better. Tuner said he liked one? it better. The Ford one? No, the Toyota one. Oh really? Oh. Yeah. Wow. So and then I want to go and swap out these uh, charge pipes for a set of like full four inch deals because that looks a little yeah, but small. that's roading wise. It's, it's gonna roading be tight. wise, yeah, it's gonna be a challenge. Yeah, because <laughs> I was looking for one to put a a uh, a one UZ in. Okay, yeah, one UZ FE. Yeah, and he said, Dad, wait a second, wait a second. <laughs> what do you think about me selling you that my car, but with the caveat that you don't you promise to to if you ever sell it to give me first dibs? And that's perfectly reasonable. Yeah. It always stays in the family and. He's going to be finishing up school soon and coming back to live with uh, Tweaks Massachusetts. Tweaks harness? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, man. We, we got yeah. two harnesses from Tweaks. Yeah. One nice. for this one and one for before for the 7M. Yeah, some people don't like them. They complain and say it's bad, but like I've never had an issue with them. I mean, like, uh, I he's been it. great. I can call Cam and he's like, oh, yeah, man. Like, he'll sit yeah. there and talk to you. Yeah, like, that. Nice he yeah. always answered my nice questions. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they do a nice job, man. Yeah, I like they, them. They yeah. do do a good nice job. Car, man. Jeez. Cool. Well, thank you guys. Best of luck. Have a safe trip, and uh, yeah, keep me posted, man. I'd love to see what you do with this. Seriously. Yeah, you'll you'll see it. It'll be on the interwebs for sure. Good. All right, we'll see it. All right. Thanks, man. Take it easy.
goodbye car. Well, I guess that's it. Uh, Hardtop's gone, it's sold. I got a check to go and deposit here, so I'll be going doing that in here in a few minutes. Uh, yeah, it's crazy, man. Crazy to see it gone. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Um, <laughs> couple cars I'm looking at. I kinda wanna go pick up an R33. Maybe an R34, kind of depending on funds. Uh, obviously, there's about a ten to $15,000 spread there. Maybe more, kind of depending on what we're talking about. Um, a Viper might also be cool. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted either way. But I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Go follow Dan on Instagram. He's an awesome dude. I'm really excited to see what he does with the car. He and his dad were a pleasure to work with. They were so awesome. And it was really great to know that he's a purist every bit is what I am. You know, I mean, he's, he's going to keep it stock. He's not going to go cutting up any sheet metal. He's not going to go, uh, <laughs> destroying the car basically. So to see it go to a good home like that is awesome. I really appreciate it. Uh, Dan, if you're watching this dude, thank you so much for, you know, making me feel confident that, you know, my car's going to a good home. So, or I guess your car now is going to a, a really good home. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you all liked it. I will see you all very soon in the next one. Catch you next time.